Welcome to this week's Commerce Connection TV show. I'm Travis Egan, the Delavan Mortgage Guy, and I'm pleased to have with me Mark Perry. The, the Great, the Director of Planning and Development for Community Action. We are here at the Twin Oaks Homeless Shelter, and I asked Mark to you know, give us a little bit of insight on the Twin Oaks Homeless Shelter here in Walworth County. Sure. So Twin Oaks Homeless Shelter is one of a number of programs that are operated by Community Action. Um, Community Action is a large human service agency that covers both Rock and Walworth counties. Um, we've operated Twin Oaks Shelter since 1994. Um, it is a 90-day emergency shelter. Um, we give preference to residents of Walworth County, but we will serve residents throughout Rock and Walworth counties. Um, it's a 12-unit shelter. Um, on average, we serve about 175 individuals each year or about 75 families each year. Um, we work with them while they're here. They go through different workshops and programs to try to work with them to get them back to the point where they're ready to transition into permanent housing. Well, that's perfect. And, and we're sitting in the library here, which uh, if, if you get a chance to come out and at least tour the facility, uh, I would strongly encourage you to do that because it really is pretty impressive. I mean, the, the work that's been done here by volunteers. Now, one of the things I know mm -hmm. is that at every level of government, whether it's municipal government or state or federal government, boy, everyone's getting squeezed on budgets, which I'm sure has, has some impact on, on how a, pro a program like a homeless shelter is funded. What kind of fundraising activities does, does the homeless shelter do to, to, to help offset that? Sure. For Twin Oaks, we have several fundraising events. Um, we have to raise... Um, this year it'll be about two hundred and twelve thousand dollars to keep Twin Oaks open, to keep the doors open and operating, and most of that money will be private funds. So we do a number of fundraising events over the course of the year and solicit private donors. Um, Walworth County has been very generous over the years in supporting Twin Oaks and keeping our doors open. Um, two events that we have coming up: we have an event in May, actually um, May twelfth. Um, at the Delvin Lake Yacht Club called the Wise, we'll have the Wise Guys, which is a local group that performs in Walworth County. Um, very entertaining. They donate their time every year, and we do a nice cocktail, heavy hors d'oeuvres fundraising event at the Delvin Lake Yacht Club. Um, tickets are on sale. Um, you can give me a call at 608-755-2470, uh, extension 2279. Um, tickets are on sale right now for the Wise Guys event. It'll again take place May 12th at the Delvin Lake Yacht Club from about 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. So what we'll do is we'll link up down below. We'll have a link to kind of give you some more information. Mm -hmm. And your information will obviously be so that right. they'll have your email and phone number so they can get a hold of you Absolutely. if you have any questions. Now, you said there's a second event as well. What's the second event? Well, in previous years, actually for the past 14 years, Community Action has hosted a, a golf outing, an annual golf outing to benefit Twin Oak Shelter. This year, we have um, the pr pleasure and the privilege to be invited to join the Lifelong Empowerment Open, which is a large golf outing that's put on by the Geneva National Foundation. So we'll be a part of that with three other organizations, um, Inspiration Ministries, Lakeland School, um, and one other organization that will be involved from Mercy, Mercy Health Systems, an autism support group. So the four of us will do a combined golf outing, working with the Geneva National Foundation to raise money, and the proceeds will be split between those four organizations. The LEO has been operating for several years now. On average, they get about 350 golfers, which is a really great benefit for us. So we're working diligently to get our golfers from our golf outing and our sponsors to join and get involved in the LEO. Um, the LEO golf outing will take place this year on June 25th, and it'll be at Geneva National Golf Course. Wow, so they're playing at GM. What I mean, the courses at Geneva National are spectacular. Oh, it's, they're be it's a beautiful venue. It's a beautiful location. Um, they do a wonderful job organizing the golf outing. We've just gotten involved in the last couple months and are really looking forward to it. And then they do a large dinner auction at the end of the golf outing. And normally their attendance is about 600 people with amazing auction items. So if you don't get a chance to golf, at least join us for the dinner auction. And we'll have information that's linked uh, as Travis said, so you can see how to get involved with the Leo Golf Outing. Okay, so we've got the two events, right? We've got the Wise Guys event in May, and then the Golf Outing in late June. Mm -hmm. Let's say someone maybe didn't want to do those two things. Maybe they didn't want to go do, like, the, hear the, the great entertainment of the Wise Guys, mm -hmm. or maybe they're not golfers like me. Mm -hmm. I, I play a game like golf. It doesn't really look like golf, though, on the scorecard. Uh, so if they wanted to volunteer and be involved in either community action mm -hmm. or, or the homeless, the Twin Oaks Homeless Shelter, how would they go about doing that? 
So we have a volunteer program if you want to be involved. Um, we actually utilize volunteers in the shelter to cover different shifts here. Um, and then we have a number of volunteer opportunities throughout our other programs and services with our child care program, with some of the housing rehab services that we do, um, and opportunities to mentor with some of our programs in both Rock and Walworth County. So there are a number of ways to help and support. Also, if you want to support financially, um, you can always donate whatever you have. Every dollar helps us here at Twin Oak Shelter. Um, you can write a check or do cash. We also take in-kind donations, clothing, food, non-perishable items here at the shelter and with our other programs as well. And I'm guessing that's how the books and the videos and Absolutely. the different things that are here are in-kind donations. Mm -hmm. Also, what I'll do is on the bottom of the video down here, if you look below, you'll actually see a Donate Now button. And you can click on that, and that'll take you right on right online to an opportunity to donate right to Community Action directly uh, through a secure donation service. So right. We have you can donate directly through our website. It is secure. It's an easy way to go through. There's a menu of items that you can click on to donate to Twin Oak Shelter being one. You can choose to donate to a number of our other programs and services. Um, we'll also have a link on our website to the Leo website, so if you're interested in the golf outing and being a golfer or a sponsor, we'll have an opportunity for you to click on our site and go to the Leo site as well to register for that. Perfect. And, and what I would encourage you to do is if you have the time, check out Community Action and we'll have a link for the Community Action yeah. website. So please do me a favor and check that out because Community Action has a, a breadth of products, a breadth of different programs they use to help. Uh, people who are struggling in different facets of their lives and and I will tell you that Mark does a wonderful job uh, for community action he and the members of the staff of all the different programs are really spectacular folks uh, and you would uh, be doing yourself a favor if you got an opportunity to work with them or meet them so Mark once again thank you so much you. for being on the show I'm going to ask you to do me a favor like I ask every week uh, first of all if you would like to receive the show on a regular basis. If you look over Mark's left shoulder there, uh, your right-hand corner, uh, you'll see a subscribe, and you can put your email address in there and subscribe for the show on a weekly basis to get an email. Uh, the other thing I'd encourage you to do is to share this uh, on your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever you may go. Uh, there are a myriad of those, but, but make sure you share this video with friends and family uh, and help spread the good news about community action and the work they do. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching the show. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next Saturday on the Commerce Connection TV show. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.